I want to do a quick and to the point video today. I was having a discussion uh, with someone earlier about what guns uh, special units of the military choose, and we were talking about safeties on those guns. And I was like, well, you know, most uh, special units don't carry guns with safeties. They carry things like SIG that don't have a safety. And they're like, well, SIGs have a safety. They have a safety decocker. I'm like, no, they don't have a safety. They have a decocker, but not a safety. And it became obvious to me that they didn't know the difference between a safety and a decocker and a safety decocker. So, you know, I thought, well, you know, we take for granted what people know and what they don't know. Uh, the things I don't know about long guns, uh, we'd be here all day if we just started talking about the obvious things I didn't know. So I thought, well, why well, take for granted things people don't know? Let's actually talk about the difference between a safety, safety decocker, and just a decocker. Now, this is a 1911. This just has a basic safety. You click the safety on, the gun will not fire. Just the way a safety works. Uh, you click the safety off, boom. That's just a safety. Does, there's no way to cock the gun. When you engage the safety, it doesn't do anything to the condition of the gun. It doesn't change whether the gun is cocked or not. That's why this is called cocked and locked. The gun stays cocked, but it's just locked because the safety is on. Now let's compare that to a safety decocker. This is my Beretta. This is, an M, this is like a compact M9. Uh, it's a M9 Inox, but it's still just, it's basically like a regular duty pistol the military carries, except this is a compact stainless model. Uh, this is a safety decocker. As you can see, when the gun is cocked, you can put the safety on. The safety decocks the gun, but the safety stays engaged. If you pull the trigger, nothing happens. The gun does not fire. Now, if you take the safety off and then fire the gun, double action pull. So that is a safety decocker. It actually changes the condition of the gun. The gun goes from cocked to uncocked when you put the safety on. Then it's unfireable because the safety is on. Turn the safety off and you can fire it. That's a safety decocker. Now let's compare that to just a decocker, like on my M11A1 here, which is my carry gun. And it's a gun that a lot of military forces use or similar guns like the P229. So this just has a decocker. As you can see here, here's the decocker. The gun is cocked. The hammer is back. When you use the decocker, it changes the condition of the gun. It is now no longer cocked. But this does not engage in any way to be a safety. I can still pull this trigger and fire this gun, as you can see right there. See, the decocker actually changes the condition of the gun. It goes from cocked to decocked. But it does not engage any type of safety. There is no safety now. You can still pull the trigger in double action and fire the gun, and it will be single action in the next shot. But there's no safety. There's no safety involved. You're just decocking it. You're just taking it from single action to double action. And then the double action, after you fire that, goes back to single action. There's no safety. There's just a decocker. So that's just a quick overview of the differences between the three. I know most people are going to know this already, but there's probably a few that don't. So I thought I would cover it. But that right there for you is the differences between a safety, a decocker, and a safety decocker. real dad.